Okay, so now let's look at the team functionality. So we're in the Hollywood space, um, and we'll go to the members of it, and these are all the members that we've added. Um, anybody, any user of the site can be added to it. Um, so let's add Claudette Colbert. Um, great, so now there's that. And you can designate easily uh, people as administrators. So I've just added F. Scott Fitzgerald. And now when you look at administrators, those are the administrators of it. So they have more permissions. Inherited means groups. So that if I've created some groups, um, you can add those users to it. So they don't have to be individual members. But if they're members of a group that you've added, then they can, um, they're members of this group as well. So now there's these teams. So I've created two teams, 2016 Host Selection Committee and 2017 Host Selection Committee. Um, and teams are generally within a space. Uh, groups are for the entire site. And you can understand more about that as you work with it all. So, um, So that's that. Um, so now we're in a team, and this is the, the 2000, uh, no, no, this is the team for, no, these are the members of the entire group. Um, so this bulk manage option is actually pretty cool. So those are all the members, and you can give them um, more fun, uh, more, you can change their roles in a group way. Um, you can delete them. You can suspend their accounts. The, this group functionality is the bulk manage one. is very nice. Um, so that's that. Teams and groups also help you control access so that when you have a space, um, you control the access. It's either public or private. That really is the only um, two aspects. It's either generally available to everyone or it's private. This one is public. But when you have sections within your space, that can be more granular. So this is the discussion section, and I've limited it to so that only the actors group, uh, one of the teams, and an individual user um, so sections have a much more granular uh, access visibility, um, which is cool. So that's the discussion section. When we actually add a page, or whatever page it is, whether it's an event or a discussion post, you can control who sees it. So say we want to do a discussion and we only want uh, uh, the 2016 host selection to get an email notification of it. Um, so that's what notifications are. They send an email alerting someone about a, a, a new content. And you can do that for events, um, for whatever. Cool.